demo illustrates how to transfer geometry from SpaceClaim to ISOM CFD. There are two main ways to do this. If you're a Workbench user, you'll probably start in the schematic, drag and drop a geometry system onto the desktop, right click and import a geometry, browse to the one you want. In this case, I'm picking a SpaceClaim document. That SpaceClaim model is now associated with this system. If I wanted to, I could connect the ISOM system right away, but I'm going to right click first to show you the model inside SpaceClaim. So here SpaceClaim is launched from Workbench, and this is the, specifically the ANSYS version of SpaceClaim. So here's the model, and mainly I just wanted to show you the, the tree of the model. You can see that there's the apt treatment mixer with this fluid at the top level, and then there are two subcomponents, outer which has the subcomponent of this outer tube, and screens which has the various uh, screen pieces inside of it. Let's close the model. Now to connect this to ISOM CFD, I just grab the ISOM CFD system from the toolbox on the left, drag it, and drop it right on top of the geometry. You can see that it transfers the model through to ISOM CFD. I can double click or right click to edit that model. So ISOM CFD is launched. Right away it launches SpaceClaim to actually handle the conversion of that model. The model actually appears for a moment, just long enough to be converted, and then it closes, and you see it in ISOM. So here's the model in ISOM CFD, and if we take a look at the tree, you can see that the, the tree reflects the space claim tree. Here's the top level where we had that named after the main level component and the body, so after treatment mixer fluid. Display the surfaces, and if I turn that off, I can see the other two components. Here's the outer tube, so you can see it's named after the component, and then the inner part of the component, and then here are the screens. Now, of course, this could all be parametric and persistent. You can parameterize settings if you want to, and when you go back to Workbench, let's close this. Right inside Workbench, we can drag and drop a Fluent system, drop it right on top of the model, and now that connection is set up so the mesh will be passed to Fluent. You can do other systems as well, CFX, Polyflow, um, Mechanical, and so on. Now many of our users are actually still using ISOM CFD outside of the Workbench environment. For those users, you'll want to still use SpaceClaim but with standalone ISOM. Standalone ISOM CFD actually imports SpaceClaim models with the same mechanism. The controls are a little different though, so I'll show you those. File, Import Model brings all the Workbench readers. The old ISOM readers that are still available can be found here under Legacy Readers, CATIA v4 and so on, uh, or Facet Readers, you can import Mesh from a variety of formats. But if you want to import just a generic using the Workbench readers, whether you've got, you're actually using Workbench or not, you go to Import Model, and it brings in this Workbench Reader Open File dialog. By default, you can see it's looking at these ANSYS type files, so it shows the Workbench project. But you can see that there's a variety of other formats in here as well. And if I click on Space Claim, my filter changes, I can see the Space Claim option, and I click Open. Now that we've selected the source for the model, we have a very standard Workbench import model data entry zone on the left and we can scroll down and set up things like whether we want mixed import if we want surfaces and lines all in the same model and so on. Hit apply to actually begin the conversion. See space claim launches right away and with the same mechanism as before the model comes into space claim gets converted behind the scenes and then loaded into ISOM CFD. Here it is the tree is the same as before also with your various levels you could then go to the Mesh tab, generate your mesh. When you're ready to output with a more traditional way, you would select your solver from a long list of options, and then uh, and you would output your, your files. This connection is persistent in that curve names and entity names are retained. So you can have scripts built on reading in a parametric SpaceClaim model. Thank you very much. We hope you enjoy working with SpaceClaim and ISOM CFD as much as we do.